So my name is John Patrick, and I grew up here in Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, uh, was in a band for a very big part of my life. Uh, basically, I went to high school here, T.C. Williams Local High School, met a bunch of friends. We started a band, and that band basically went on to tour the country, or the better part of the country, for almost 10 to 12 years. In 2011, uh, I actually found this place that we're in right now. I saw the lease sign on it, and I couldn't have been happier because you know, this town, this area, this neighborhood, this community is so vibrant. There's a lot of art in this town, a lot of it. Uh, in Alexandria, of course. So, um, you know, to be able to find a place in this town or neighborhood uh, uh, just was almost a dream come true. My name's Tom Phillips. Uh, I'm from the Northern Virginia area originally. And uh, I started playing instruments uh, when I was seven years old, guitar, and um, from that point forward, that's been my trajectory in life, basically. As far as teaching at Rome, you know, it's one thing when it's the, a private one-on-one -on -one scenario, but the rock school program that I'm primarily involved with at the moment, uh, first of all, it's more of a coaching scenario in that they're really doing all of the work. And what we do is provide some real world insight uh, based on our experiences as musicians. To uh, talk a little bit about my rock school program, it's something that, that I've been doing uh, ever since I opened the doors at Rome. And uh, uh, what I'm trying to create with the program is a place where budding musicians, either young or old, can come to work on the craft and make themselves better. My name is Kate Serpis. I'm 15 years old. I live right up the street, so I live in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, I've been playing music since I was like five. I played the guitar for like a year, and it was like somewhere out in like Bailey's Crossroads, and I had a really weird teacher who I did not love. So then I moved here and like JP, when he worked at his old place, introduced me, like I was introduced to him, and he got me with another teacher, and then they moved over here. Rome absolutely helped me to become a better musician. Um, all, like, again, all the teachers are so talented, and whenever they bring that talent into a room around you, you just want to be as good as they are, because it makes you, like, so, oh my gosh, I want to be able to do that, and it makes you push yourself to, like, try and get to like the level that they're at and to achieve what they have achieved. So I think that their level of expertise kind of pushes you to get better and work harder to get to their level. I'm Kate Sapp. I was born in Alexandria, Virginia, and I've been playing guitar since I was six or seven, so that's about eight or nine years. JP keeps everybody under, under control, which is fantastic because, I mean, everybody that goes here is like a rowdy teen. <laughs> so yeah, there has to be like a controlling person and that's where JP comes in. And then there's Tom and Davey and Rick who are like super fun and let you like jam and really like get into playing with each other as musicians. One of, the, one of the best things I think about this experience for the kids when we do these shows at the Birchmere that are sold out, there's 500 people there. Um, uh, you know, my intention, you know, hopefully through the program is to build their, build their confidence and, you know, put them on a stage where they can really 
you know, feel what it's like to have that feeling, because that's what the program is about. It's about, you know, everybody wants to be in a band. Everybody wants to experience what it's like to be on stage and you know play a rock show and do do the whole thing and and that's you know in part what the mission of the program is is to provide that experience. As the Rome Fest shows at the Birchmere are concerned, it's an amazing opportunity that most people are not really privy to, and so. Quite frankly, I hope they realize how special that is because some of us coaches, we haven't even played the Birchmere otherwise. And it's a legendary venue. I mean, you walk down those halls and you see all of the photos of the performers for decades, uh, both at the original location and its current location. Uh, and, and it's just, it's like a who's who of music. Playing at the Birchman makes me feel a ton of like anxiety, but it's like an adrenaline rush. Um, and it's just the idea of being as young and like fresh as a musician as like I am, and being able to go up on stage where so many like seasoned musicians have been able to play and like they've just killed it, of course, that's like what they're meant to do. And it's such a huge trans transition from being in that practice room next door to like being up on stage covered with lights and like with deafening applause. The Birchmere has like these lights that change every time that you hit a drum. And it's so cool because like behind me I'll see like blue and then red and then purple and then orange and it goes through the whole spectrum and that gets me so excited because I'm like oh this is cool like and then I see like can't really see them if like the lights are on but then I see like the people in the back and like during sound check I always see them in the back they're big like they're set up fixing the levels and stuff like that I'm like I feel professional <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not ten anymore like I'm not playing at coffee night for my parents' PTA meeting. Like, this is cool. My goals for everyone at Rome uh, basically would revolve around taking it a little bit more serious, but still having fun doing it. One of the things that I'd say that I'm most proud of is being in business for five years and doing what I love, but also providing a place for people who do what they love and make a living off of doing it. I think one of the things that I have learned from being in a band for very many years was it's very hard to make a living doing what you love, especially if it's music. So um, uh, to have a place where very accredited instructors can come and teach and make money and you know have a living off of doing what they love makes me very proud to have a place that can sustain that for them.